We're going hopping, hop, we're going hopping today. When things are popping, pop, a Philadelphia way. We're going to drop and drop on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. Gentlemen, Megs, come over here, please. Morton, come on. Paul, come on. Hello, Gina. Say hello to Gina. Welcome, my dear. We're going to neglect you because this is just, I realize, she does not travel with you gentlemen all the time. What a live act. Yes. yes, yes. Somebody, <laughs> no, somebody wanted to know if Gina is a permanent member of AHA. Uh, we don't know, actually. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no she, I, I don't want to break this to you, gentlemen. I think she has other plans. This is sort of a sit-in thing. I am confused because your English is uh, English English and you are Norwegian. Does everyone speak English in Norway? What do you mean? <laughs> Do you, do you sing in Norwegian when you go home? Well, I, you know, I don't always sing, but I uh, <laughs> sometimes. I don't if, you were to, if you were to do this do. material at home no, in no, no, concert, no. do you sing it in English? No, this song is English. Would, would the audience appreciate it there in English? Oh, yeah, most people speak English in Norway anyway, so. Hmm. Yeah, May I ask you, Paul, why you ended up in London? Why did you stay in Norway to pursue your career? Um, why don't you ask Morten that? He's much better. <laughs> oh, he's bad. He's, he's this tall, silent type. Why England? Because uh, the others went, and I just joined them. I, I went with them. England is, uh, you can't really make it in, in this sense in Norway. It's too much, uh, it's much too small a market, really. Four million people and uh, no money to, you know, we, we to form listen, We always listened to English and American bands when we were kids, so we, you know, we wanted to move to England you know, to compete with bands you know, in the rest of the world. Norway is like really... Well, what was the hardest part about the, the period of time in England before you got your recording contract? You mean apart from having no money? <laughs> <laughs> That's always the hard part. Was it the waiting, just waiting and waiting? Yeah. Uh, the waiting. Yeah. All the fish and chips or something. <laughs> did you eat a lot of fish and chips? <laughs> he did. Did we? Yeah. I did. You didn't. They went back twice to retrieve you. What, what was the purpose in going back to Norway periodically? Uh, to get money. We couldn't work in England? Couldn't work in England? That's not true. No. <laughs> We've supported ourselves all the time. Well, except... Well, our managers has actually since they picked us up, but we uh, we we made some money at home, saved up a few bobs, <laughs> and went to England. You know, and uh, it was enough. It's exciting now, though. What's happened? Are you going to tour the United States now or later? Uh, probably after Christmas or uh, you know springtime. He will. In the meantime, you'll travel about the world and do a lot of television. Gentlemen, the next song, who knows? Anybody know what the answer is to that? Uh, you better ask the program director. <laughs> <laughs> Train of thoughts. You got it. Ladies and gentlemen, please, once again. Here you go.